I'm on a strict diet, so that's like 900 calories that I ate, which I have to walk off or train off. So, what I do for content, subscribe. Yo, what up guys, OPT Daniel here, back at it again with a deck profile video. So today we're gonna do none other than Charlotte's Katakuri. So yeah, a really cool leader, done one when attacking, look at up to one card from the top of your or your opponent's life cards, and then place it at the top of the bottom of the life cards. Then this leader gains 1000 power during this turn. Oh yeah, by the way, sorry for the camera quality. Uh, I lent my camera to my girlfriend, so I have to record it on my phone. But yeah, uh, insane leader. So for one don, you basically hit for a seven each time or for more. Depends how many don you attach. And you can set up your life. You will know what you will trigger or put at the bottom for late game or early game, etc, etc. Really cool leader. But also big mom yellow starter deck is a sleeper leader. But uh, this one is uh, more fun, but the other one is uh, pretty insane also. Deck profile coming soon. But yeah, starting right off the bat, we of course play four times the best card in the deck. It is Charlotte Pudding. It's a searcher on play. Look at the top four cards, not five, but four. Either add a Sanji or a big mom pirates type card and then place the rest at the bottom. But yeah, uh, good card. You can always put it to life if you need search power next turn because you will take the hit, get it back to hand search and then you will find all your combo pieces and if not it's a 1k counter so yeah uh, let's put them right there for our 2000 counter characters we play four times strozen uh strozen is really good against sorrow or against annoying one cost blockers characters because on play you may trash a trigger card from your hand ko up to one cost one or less so good card you want to use this primarily against sorrow with on play or uh, yeah, get it to hand for counters, who knows. And then for the next 2k counter, of course, we play four times the other pudding. Uh, basically, you will never use her effect, but it's a 2k counter. And if you want to know the effect, let's get the nice looking one. On play, look at up to one card from the top of your or your opponent's life cards, and then place at the bottom or top of the life. So basically, same as the leader, but no boost, and you will know what you will hit, or what your opponent gets to hand if you take the hit, etc. Good cards. And then for our last 2k counter, of course, we play Sanji. So we have 4, 8, 12 2k counters. And then Sanji you can add with the Pudding Searcher. And also a pretty good effect. Don 2, when attacking, you may add up. Yeah, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. Add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life. So basically... If you know what you have at top, you can just get it and then get it to hand and then just yeah, get one life back. So uh, I also play a card that does the same effect as this. So prim you primarily want to use it just for the 2k counter. But yeah, these are the 2k counters that we run. Let's uh, throw you to the side. Now for our 3 cost characters, of course, we play Paris Barrow. It's a good card because for 3, you have a 5k beater on the field. And when it uh, KOs, you will look at the top 3 cards of your deck. On the KO, so the second this goes to the trash to here, you can look at the top three cards, get a card, and then you can decide if you want to counter or not. So be mindful, this effect always goes off first. And then trigger, you may trash one card, play this. So basically, yeah, beater on the field if you get it from both. Good card, you always want to play this when you are at four dons. So you attach one to leader, you swing, look at your life, and then for three remaining dons, you play this, and then next turn you are set up. And then for our three costs, we're still at three costs. We play four times Charlotte Brulee. So this is your blocker. Uh, it's a very expensive blocker for 1k uh, power. But yeah, primarily you want to trigger this from life because trigger on play, you can play this card. Or trigger, play this card, you can play directly from your life. So if you swing first with leader, this at the top of your deck, you just put it to the bottom and then end game you can save an attack with this because it will trigger and then you can play it directly and just block. Uh, you can cut this to 3 if you want to, but I prefer at 4 because you want to see it. And if you know other plays, you can just hard play it from hand for 3. But primarily you want to use it for the uh, trigger or you can use it for the 1000 counter. And then we go into our 4 cost characters. We have 4 times Cracker. So basically, Cracker is really insane. It's just such a good card. If you can trigger this from life, you are re you're really set. You will just win the game. Because um, if your first life, you, you always want to take your first life. So if they attack, first life, you will take it, even though you didn't see what card it was by your leader effect. Just take it. 
If it is this, you have a free insane body on the field. And if not, just attack, look at your fourth life, because one life of the life is gone, you're at four. See if any one of is these, and then just play this at the top, and then you can trigger this, because on play, uh, oh, sorry, trigger. You may trash one card from your hand, play this card, basically same as Sparrow Sparrow, but this card is really insane. It's a four cost, 5k, 1000 counter, done one, it needs one done attached. If you, has, if you have less life cards than your opponent, this character gains double attack, deals two damage, and 1000 power. So for one done, it becomes six and then seven, because if you're at less life, it gains 8,000 and you get the double attack. Really good card. So you always want to take your first life. So you're at four lives, then you can just set it up or part play it and uh, go hammer this card. Really good card. Always want to boost it to eight, by the way, or nine. It's the sweet spot for this card. Now we play something that um, you can change or cut, but I prefer two times Charlotte Daifuku. Uh, I love this card, to be honest. You can... Uh, remove it for maybe uh, some higher cost cards or even smoothie that's the, the name the rare one or even for a uh, vanilla four cost 6k for white beards but this card is really good in my opinion we only play two because it's not really that uh, uh, yeah now you can say that before uh, I dwell too long on this I only play two because two is needed and it rarely comes up because a lot of people will remove this body but if it comes up definitely use it because this Don one when attacking, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. Add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life card. So basically, you know what your life is if it is a, like, let's say it's a uh, Katakuri character. Okay, cool. It has no counter, no trigger. But you want to have a two-hand. You can just uh, attach one Dom, swing, get it, get the top life from your deck, put it there. So basically, you just uh, cycle the cards. Or if you have a card that you need in hand right now that you don't want to trigger, just play this. You know what you will get, you know what you will have. Or if you need a card to discard from a certain effect, and at your life there is a non-trigger, no counter, you just do that and then just switch your lives around. I really like this card, but uh, it's not really that played in this deck. And then for our five cost cards, we play four times Shira Hoshi. Why four times? Because it's insane. Draw three, draw three discard two. Oh. And it's trigger is play this card. So basically, if you trigger this from life, just play it. You get three cards, discard two. Uh, the problem with category is that you have a lot of non-counts in the deck. I will show you later why. So you have a lot of targets to discard, actually, and just draw cards, draw into your combo pieces, draw into the cards you miss. And you can just play this, and then maybe next turn you can use category uh, character effect, put it back to life, so they have to hit it, and then you can play it again, draw three, discard two. Insane cards, and if everything fails, just have it on field, attach all dons onto it, hit for them. Really good card, and also we're gonna get some nice alt arts from her. Alright, so this is where the part comes where we brick with this deck, to be honest. We play three times Charlotte Linlin -Lin from the Sutter deck. Uh, like I said, sometimes you go first, sometimes you go second, if you don't have any play, just play this. Your opponent is forced to choose to trash a life from there, or give you a life. Uh, most of the times they will trash it, but they may also give you. And like I said, if this is in your life and you use leader ability, and then uh, you know, all right, this is at the top. Okay, cool. The focus on the field, you can get a two hand, get another card that might be potentially a trigger. Insane, and also just a nice stat because you can just hit white bridge for eight. They have to discard two cards, two K counter, one K counter, and also just choosing a life. But if they have zero lives, they can choose to trash their life even they have no lives. So be mindful of that ruling. But yeah, if um, if else, you just use it for uh, Shiro Hoshi to discard these if you see it too much. Then we go into three times Charlotte category. Uh, so that's also a non-counter card, but this is basically your best card. You want to see this. Uh, by the way, you can also cut the Daifuku to play four of these. Or maybe even play four of these if you don't want to have the Daifuku. Or switch it to some other cards you want to. The Daifukus are flex spots. You can definitely change up the ratios. But yeah. Uh, three cards, because you can just play this, bounce a card back to the life uh, from yourself or your opponent. So you can bounce a Shiro Hoshi, bounce a Brule, bounce something else that you want to trigger, or bounce a Marco for a white beard. And then next turn you play 10 costs so that the blocker goes to the trash. So you know, okay, they don't have a blocker on the field, so that's one less blocker to worry about. But yeah, insane card. Uh, and also, yeah, it's category, what can we say? And now for our 10 cost. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. We play four times Charlotte Linlin, Lin, the 10 cost. 
insane card. You always want to play this, always resolve it. Because on play, if your leader has the big mom pirates, so too bad for NL, type add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life, then trash up to one card from the top of your opponent's life cards. So if you're low at health, just play this. Your opponent automatically loses a life. They cannot do anything about it. So if you do the Katakuri, you give, uh, I mean, yeah. So if you use this against Whitebeard, you give them a life. They play the nine cost because then they have one life. You know, they don't have to get it to hand. You just play this, card is gone. Next turn, swing, swing, and just try to win. Really cool cards. You always want to drop it and it's just a 12k body. Insane. But if you have the main on hand, use it for Daifuku. Use it for uh, the next cards that I will show you. Uh, for our events, we play three times Thunderbolt. Why three times? Because it's a really good card. It's just main. You may trash one card on top of your life. That is the cost because it's uh, in bold letters. So you have to pay this. If you have no lives, you cannot use this card. You need to trash a life. It's required. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost five or less. So basically, if they have a block of Marco, take a life. You do this. Buy Marco. Hit for 12k for game or for more. Depends. I've had this happen to me. First time losing as a white brick against Katakuri because this card got rid of my uh, blocker and then just 18k swing to leader is pretty painful, even for a white brick player. But yeah, uh, primarily you want to use it for the trigger because trigger KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost 5 or less. So you don't need to pay the cost for your life for the trigger. So I primarily want to use this as a trigger card. And then for our last three cards, we play Ikoku Sovereignty. This card is insane. It's the first 5k power uh, counter. Up to one of your characters or leaders gains 5,000 power during this turn for only two dons. And its trigger is really insane. Trigger, you may trash two cards from your head, add up to one life from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. So if you trigger this, trash two Lin Lins, seven cost, eight cost, nine, uh, 10 cost, or some other cards, and just get a life. Um, watch my video rulings because these cards all have really weird rulings. So watch it so you know how to resolve all these cards correctly. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That was the Katakuri deck profile. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the skit. I just ate it like 10 minutes ago. It's 900 calories and I'm on a uh, men's physique diet slash training. So I have to train these 900 calories away right now. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to see more content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And yes, I'm sweating because it's really, really, really hot in my room. All right, peace.